What do you say, Mike? What do you think? I think it's an awesome setup we got here at Echo Cove. So, guys, what's yeah. going on here? Me and Mike, of course, as always. Um, really cool what's going on here today, guys. Um, we decided to completely clean out this corner here. I used to have an old bow flux sitting in the corner here and a lot of just crap and stuff like that. But we were talking about, about having a nice area for making hash. And also another thing that came to mind is, 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 is we were looking at... I gotta do bond grip. I grabbed the bong as we were talking and then all of a sudden I'm just like... I hear you. I know! And it's just like... So we gotta grab some mini kush here. Um, and what, what we were talking about... Uh, some people made some comments we weren't smoking enough pot. Can you believe that? They're like, you guys didn't do a bong rip last time. Who would say that? It was on that, that video that we did about, um, um, oh, what was that last one we did? Uh, oh, I got Mike on the go. <laughs> yeah, no, I good. like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah remember? Lockdown pads. Lockdown. We had the lockdown, lockdown. pads and, 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 and people were saying, you know what, you didn't smoke any bong rips. I said, well, that's because Mike had been doing some baking all day. And Michael's already quite stolen, and I didn't need some <laughs> cookies. But um, really, what we're going to be talking about here today, guys, we're going to be putting this bad boy uh, shop light up here. We've got some new T8, so with some natural daylight, so we can get some better viewing. Mike, you were talking about hanging a camera here in the corner. And why not? So we're talking about actually, Mike's talking about putting the camera way back here, and it'll pivot, and it'll move around. He's got this great idea. I love how your mind works, my friend. So, you know, we're going to have some pretty cool video camera going on here. But first of all, wrong room. Mike, that's still burning, puffing pass. Yeah. We like that. Okay, we had to get the. <laughs> we had to get the bonger, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Here in a hot box too, eh? What do you think? <coughs> well, sure, the ventilation will just suck it right up. Okay. So enough of that, guys. What we're going to be doing here, guys, is um, we've been looking at this uh, Home Now machine. And um, you can see it's actually quite dirty. And, and I can see inside of here there's a bolt. And um, we've got some screws here and they've got kind of two things. So we're going to take this bad boy apart. And we're going to clean this thing up. Mike found some weed in the bag. It's always good. He, look at him, he's smiling. He's so happy. Yeah. <laughs> so what we're going to do here, guys, is we're actually going to build this little room here. It's not really a room. It's just a corner of my house. I cleaned it out. I was thinking about doing a hot yoga studio here, but I have a ceiling problem. So um, things have changed on the hot yoga studio. And instead, um, we're going to have a little area out here specifically for drawing and curing our hash a little better, for making it so it's cleaner. We're going to take this machine apart, we're going to clean that. And this whole thing is going to be about, you know, we're going to we're gonna show you how to clean our machine, because we never have. I was talking to Bubble Man about it, and he's like, dude, do it up, man. Uh, I, I, you should clean your machine. Hey, why not? We're taking it apart. We want to see what this thing's ticks. We want to take it apart. We're going to clean it all up. I'm going to get some hydrogen peroxide to make sure run it through. We got a little right. techniques that I was talking about. Um, there's a, a little thing on, on YouTube we were talking about. I think it was nicotine made some mentions about how to clean your machine, which is really cool and stuff like that. So we're going to clean this machine. We're going to hang this um, heavy duty shop light up here and get this all bright in here and stuff like that. Mike, you're, you're telling me, this all back over here, guys, you can see I'm going to... Mike, tell me what we were talking about doing right behind you there. Well, it's not like we say a mess here, so what we do, we just going to finish this off. Sheet it and paint it white. That way we have a nice little white backdrop, so it looks like a lab kind of thing at least. Something like that. So lab type yeah. setting. Yeah. yeah. See, so that's pretty cool, guys. So that's what we're going to do. We're, we're going to clean this up. Um, we're we're going to paint this white or maybe hang some white poly. We're going to get this all nice. I want to hang something over the top here so no dust comes down and clean this all up. We're going to make this our little room for making our hash and stuff like that. And so you guys can have a better view. We'll get up tape and personal. We'll put a couple extra cameras in here. We'll have some fun. We'll start by cleaning this machine. Then, of course, we're going to dig into the freezer over there. I haven't made any hash in a while. People have missed our bubble hashing sessions. Yeah. Well, the reason being, guys, because we had to step it up. 
So we're going to step it up. We're going to mount some cameras in here. We're going to have some fun. Might even get a GoPro. Who knows? But we're going to do some multi-channel. Mike's going to bring us his camera over here. And, and we're, going to, we're, going to, we're just going to get in here and do some pretty cool filming. So uh, you know what? We're going to take you along this little, uh, this little series with us. We, we seem to be doing series lately. Huh. So building our little room, what well, and do's and don'ts, and, and this is not like this hardcore room. We're going bare bones, cheap as possible, make it nice and clean, make it nice and white so we can see the dust and the dirt, where everything's going, making sure that we don't have any dust coming in here, and, and of course actually hanging something here to make it a little bit more air air friendly so we don't have them coming in. Yeah. So um, yeah. we'll, we'll, let's get to work, yeah? Let's do it. Okay. Let's do first, it. first we're going to take this thing apart. Let's do it. Tools. We gotta go get some tools. Let's go get some tools. All right, done. Okay. So, yeah, I guess that's what we gotta do, eh? Okay, we're, uh, you know what, guys? We we're just talking about. I want to get the machine going right away. Mike's like, you can't, dude. I know you want to make hash. Hetty got right in here. She's like, okay, you gotta slow down, John. First thing's gotta be first. Mike, what were you saying we gotta do here? Let's just finish the area first. Insulate and poly. We're going to poly the top right. of this, make it all nice Paint and white. Prepare, set the room up, and then we have our light. So we have proper lighting, and we can see what's happening. And we can see what's I, happening. I can't see what's happening properly here. That works. You can't that go good with you on that. And he's like, that works. So we, we got to bring you a better video. And at the same time, once we get that all on there, you know what? We start putting stickers and, and little things on, on the walls that resembles hash and, 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 our, and our medicine and everything that we talk about yeah. and how we use medicine. So you know what? It's kind of going to be... Uh, well, I guess we're going to get built in here. So I'm going to show you guys as we build this room. We're going to put this off to the side now. We just put this down here. Get this out of the way. Get this out of the way. We can, we, we can actually leave the weed close. There we go. Grab the bomb. Get out of here. Get this out of here. Make sure everything gets and safe. The best part is, is look at how excited Hetty is. She really wants to get in here. So here we guys go. We've got the heavy duty spotlight wire guard protection. Take it back. Folks, look at this. Here's the bad boy. Oh, this is different. Pull her out. So pretty easy, guys. Look at this. We got a four light system, T8, natural light. Really nice, perfect. We're gonna hang this right above the table here. And look, it's gonna be just like perfect. It's, yeah? it's ready to go. It's ready to go. Just plug it in. Just plug it right in. So we need an outlet. So we need an outlet switch for that. And what's even really nice about that? Is there an outlet on the end here? Look at that. John, there's a screw in outlet. You can put it in that light bulb spot. Oh, perfect. So we got an outlet it, right and, there. And then plug it in. And we're going to hang this right there. Right there. We're going to get some really nice coverage here. Woohoo! And he's got the bulbs ready. He leaves them open. So we're going to kind of get this going here. We Let's go get here. some poly and stuff like that. Um, I definitely want to get to work on that. We've got some drywall sitting in the back here. We're going to drywall that off, eh? Yeah. yeah. We'll, yeah. Make that, we'll put the, and then we put stickers on there and stuff like awesome. that. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Represent. Hang up all your bubble bags. Oh, hey. Put your, uh, put your, um, your joint, uh, your flag. A doctor, uh, a puff a day keeps the doctor away. Yes. See? A little bit of uh, a little bit of a room uh, build here, so we're gonna have that oxy gun. That's kind of a, we were talking about putting a backdrop there, but I mean, a joint a day keeps the doctor away. Is exactly what we'll be hanging there. We're gonna get back. Uh, right. Let's just, just yeah, we're just working. Sounds cool. good. I'm, I'm really stoked here. Sounds good. Okay, so you know what? I think the first thing I want to do is uh, we'll pull some of that drywall. I'm gonna get some different uh, insulation for that, just to make it right. nice. And um, and of course I'm gonna vacuum this all the bugs up in here and stuff yeah, like that first because you know yeah, what this, this house is 75 years old. It is. You know. Uh, so, so can I make a suggestion, maybe? Yeah. If, you're, if you're gonna do that, then uh, why don't we make a temporary wall? I uh, just get some uh, one by four and tack it on here full length like this. Now just get the chip rock and just lay it up like this and just lightly screw it one or two times so it looks like there's a false wall here. You're not really making a wall, but just a false wall. Okay. So it looks finished. Then you can have your thumbtacks and tack your stickers and this and that, the whole works really nice. easy finish off just like that. False wall coming up, guys. Right. And then here, again, the same idea. No, we're just going to finish that off. No, 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 yeah, yeah. Oh, you want to put a false wall and hide this whole thing here? John, 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 John. Oh. Just, li please listen. Why? It's on to we to edit this now. Just get your one by four. I'm not editing this, by the way. This is a really to our room for making hash. Yes. 
And what we're going to do is we're going to put a finished look in here. And, and, and Mike's talking about actually maybe putting a wall in here. See how that happens. I'm kind of thinking a little bit about that. I don't know yet, but it might be an idea. It's I already do like, I do like the logo. Lines here. Hilarious. So if you did us open for a while. Well, I'm gonna do something with it at one point. I don't want the cats jumping up here, so. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'll just put drywall here, kind of unfinish it, like not like finish it all across here or something like that. The idea would be obviously to bulk the so do it all properly, everything, put a corner. But really it's the basement. So um, we'll just kind of put some drywall right here. here. Hang poly on it. Or from the top, hang poly three down there. Oh my. Well, I got it. I think we got that pump out there now properly? I think so. Check it out. So we notched it. And we still don't have the height to do it. No, we got our height, but there's a bracket here in the way, that's all. There's still brackets in the way. A little bracket in the top there. Perfect. Take it out. Slide it. There we go. So now what we're going to do... Well, that bracket goes all the way through. I'll just take that little piece there. Just bend it, bend it forward. In the pliers. No bending! That's 75 years old. Come on. <laughs> no bending. Mike's like, we'll just bend it out of the way. Oh, that's a piece of metal. <laughs> I'm going to do a little shave here. That's one thing about working in a house that's 75 years old. You start bending things, it probably short up, break. And it, it, you go to bend it, the whole thing will fall apart. You know what it's like. I mean, shit, I don't know if you touch me at 75. So we figured the best way to make this all nice, guys, was to drywall it. So, put that little notch right where that thing is there. Let's see. Make a little bit bigger notch? Like a little thumbnail, like this. Watch it down. There you go. There you go. Now it's going to fit. According to Mike, guys, it's going to fit. Slide, slide this way first. You get behind here, and we're gonna slide this way. Slide this way behind it. And then you go slide with just that millimeter. It won't go in because of the concrete, see? See the concrete? See how it's all like lifted up? Okay. So, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. One man! Oh yeah. By the way, you just put it out of the way. Don't untie don't, don't, don't it all. Alright. Ah, oh, that's what I said, don't do that! There we go! One thing I said, don't do, but it's okay, here, let this go. Just, we're done. I know! Just don't pull on the switch. I just touched. I just, I I just touched. don't pull on the switch. Seventy-five years old. Now I'm replacing the whole thing. I didn't want you to pull the whole screw out. I don't know why you did. So now we're gonna get flashlights and take a look because we can't really do too much here. We're gonna we're gonna sign off here and this is uh this is working and uh, home renovations. <laughs> well, um, we shorted out a plug, so now we actually have a plug and a switch. How's that switch work, Mike? Switch looks actually very well. We now got something that works. Wow! Check <laughs> that out, guys.
We got so, a here too, which is nice. Which was really cool is how old this house is. That was petrified. Are you going to show them that, Mike? This Check plug this here. out. Check out this old plug. You won't be able to see it up here. You have to take it in the light over there. Right oh. beside that other plug. Put it right beside that other plug. Yeah. Right there. So, so, so it didn't really work what I was trying to do. I was trying to show the mic here and stuff like that. So here's the old plug, guys, if you can take a look. You can see exactly what the old plug is there and how it's a little different, little holes. So we went from old, 75 years ago, to new. That's pretty cool. And of course, we're always working away here. Doing a quick zoom out. And I think we, uh, now that we have that drywall cut there, because we previously cut it in the beginning, then we blew the fuse and everything like that. So we're like, hey, now, now. We got to recut, recut. Now, now we're just going to get new drywall. <laughs> Mike wants to fill it in with the piece. I'm like, I'm not filling it in. No. I managed to cut myself a little bit. Where's that box from? Here it is. You see how the box came out in pieces? It's literally still half in the wall. Mike's smiling. <laughs> I had a little bit of um Here's the rest of it. Here's the rest of it. We have different pieces of it. So you can see this thing came out very it was difficult. Definitely a piece of history. It's too bad I had to break it together though. Actually there's still half of it in there because it's petrified. Yeah. Oh well. Crazy! You still have the house, hold that. I know. I'm quite excited about this thing. Mmm, many kush. It's always a beautiful time. So now that we've done that, um, I mean, do we actually cut this out and do that? Because as it stands, we always have the same problem. I'm just trying to get it to fit anyway. So we're well, seeing how it was here. Yeah. So this new piece, we're gonna cut a new piece, guys, and I'm gonna actually cut it down even a little bit smaller. So let's get this little piece cut. Right on. Get that going for sure. I can use this piece for over here. Check this out. You just throw it off. Awesome. Okay, so we've done this side now. I'll just cut that here so that's easily done. We got this piece done. Perfect. Is that a piece right there? That's the piece that was going here, all the way across. Yeah. Nope, nope, we gotta cut it down totally. Okay, okay, okay. okay. alright. So it's definitely going to be a, a work in motion here. We're going to keep this going. Got any uh, cover for our light here. Kind of nice. You only have to go to about there. That's pretty good. You don't need all the pieces in your bag? No, I don't actually. Where's your bag? Right there. What happened to that uh, duty? Over here. That's always nice, you know. You said something over there, and we're, we're not even on camera. We're doing all the work over here. Sure. Yeah. Mike's like, of course we are. So we're gonna we're gonna do a little thing right here, guys. We're gonna cut this drywall off here. We're gonna get it going. The old plug that was the one that Mike brought over that was nice here in my head. Got the new one going on here. I just had this thing here. Oh no, they're being bothered. I thought it was going up at all. Oh, there you go. go. I'm going to flash you this. I'm going to move this bag out of the way. <coughs> I, I'm trying to get everything over here. Right? Perfect. So. Perfect. Now, ladies and girls, so let's do this. One little bit. Okay guys, so we know the other one was just a little bit too small. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm pretty much just going to get ready to cut this. I'm going to move this, so this is where I got my mark right now, give me an idea, I don't have to cut my length yet, I can do that in a bit, 
Oh, John, do you want a bit longer? Yeah. So I'm just going to flip this sheet over, and I'm going to move this down about that much. About an eighth of an inch is my plan. So that way we don't have it looking at there. Oh, um, yeah, I used to be a, in construction, I was a glazer by trade, before I fell. Mm -hmm. And I used to do this all the time, guys. But it's just that you used to do this with glass. So that was a cool thing. I installed glass in high rises. I did that since 1988. Wow. I was in the union in 1988. Uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. So, get used to working and stuff like that. That's why I always get up so early and stuff. So as always, puffing and passing, guys. We're gonna get this cut up here and next shot. You guys are gonna see all drywall in here. So um, we're just gonna keep working away. Well, you know what? As I was doing this, Mike just went over to grab uh, Hetty, his wife. I'm screwing this on, and I'm like, wow, this sounds like I'm screwing into concrete, guys. So I just kind of had a, if I can listen to it, it's kind of funny. It's, uh, it's quite amazing how, uh, how the, the wood here is petrified. It's, uh, this old house is uh, definitely an oldie, but a goodie. So, yeah, I just wanted to kind of let you guys hear that, because I thought it was pretty kind of cool, just the, the sound of, of these screws going into like petrified wood was uh, not that neat. It was such a difficult time just trying to get the, a few things off of because uh, there's a few things that were nailed on the inside here for the electrical. Man, was that ever tough. Like literally, I'm cutting the inside of my finger here, hitting it with the hammer and stuff. But, uh, you know, it's one thing that's great about uh, old houses and they are so... They all burnt like stone. Again, can you work in here, guys? Working on this uh, little room here together. There you go. What do you think, Mike? It looks like the walls already started being painted white. I didn't even realize that. Yeah, very old. So it's telling you something. So, um, nice. Always puffing. Mike was talking about painting this ball white, and I was like, I don't like painting concrete. Now that I put this up here, I feel bright and up. I can tell that it's already being part painted. You know what? Wait a second. Guessed it. We're painting. Woo -hoo! Okay, oh. we're gonna keep working here, guys. I think this is gonna turn really white. Yeah, sounds good. Whoa, this is all plumb for a floor here, a bathroom and stuff in here. So eventually, we might put some stainless steel tables in here. And this is gonna turn into a nice little. Uh, Maybe I suggest when we put the table. A one bedroom or a hash, of those things. A hash suite. This side of the house will be just purely for hash. We'll have a kitchen here. Yeah. We smoke hash. No, no, I'm kidding. I'm not doing that. Oh. But it was a good idea. It was. I was dreaming for a second. John, oh yeah. After we're finished fixing the wall up and everything else, let's put the table against the wall. 
Because then these things would be underneath the table. That'd be good. Yeah, we got three sides. Side. We got three sides. And size. then you were talking about that mounting bracket and stuff like that. I thought it was kind of cool. Yeah. So um, this camera is going to be mounted here, and we're going to put it on here, and it'll pivot. Yeah. Give you guys an idea. This is the bracket. It's going to mount like this on the ceiling. The camera can sit in here. It'll pivot back and forth. We're going to rig that up so that way we can do some pretty uh, cool filming. So um, I guess we're going to start painting. Sounds good. Okay, these are good. I turn that wall white. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely time to paint all this. Ooh, get shimmy out there. This will be nice. We can actually use that uh, window maybe for venting and stuff like that. Because it's uh, going to actually be, now that we've closed the window, this is actually going to be a hash room slash yoga room. I have my ceiling height, so I'm able to uh, give myself some money. I always say, hold your hand up high and stretch forward. So as you guys can see, yoga has been doing me very, 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 very well. I can get it up there, I can hold it very tight. So this little room here, guys, is going to be a slash hash room yoga room. And always uh, keeping it real. Namaste. So this is going to be my hash room slash yoga room. It'll be really good for my health. I'll be making my medicine and I'll be taking care of my health. So this is going to be my little medical room. Be able to actually relax in here with a little meditation. Have the furnace right there, so that's going to make things really convenient for heating this room. So yeah, I'm really, really excited. So we're going to paint this wall. We know this is all insulated and nicely sealed off, so I'm really happy there. We know it's going to be able to hold the heat. We're going to put uh, somewhat of a roof on here now. So um, yeah, guys, I'm going to get to work here. But first, I got to roll something here, and I thought it was pretty cool. I was just looking in the archives and. Um, Medi, 2012, second place. That's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. So, of course, as always, it's pretty special. And um, I got my TY Metano where I actually uh, entered into it. So I thought that was kind of cool, just sitting there, too. Get this all going here, guys. Best thing about med tanners is a store grind and pour. Very easy. I've got these uh, actually Soma style C. I, I was looking for some Rollies. I smoke so much hash, I don't buy Rollies anymore. Everything for me is mostly extractions because that's what my medicine truly is. But um, you know, I grab some big Rolly papers here. Get this all going nicely. Now, I'm not much of a guy that puts filters in, but this little package happens to come with filters, which is pretty cool. So, you know what? I'm going to pull this out, and uh, I'm going to throw a filter in here, guys. I'm going to light this up. I'm going to pour some paint in there, and I'm going to start painting because, you know what? This hash room slash yoga room, it'll be able to cool it down or heat it up. That's going to be the best part. We'll put a rolling AC unit in here so we'll be able to bring the temperatures down so I can make my hash. And when I want to do my yoga, I can roll the AC unit out and I'll have a heater in here. Woohoo! That's pretty awesome. So it's truly a medical room when you start dealing with everything. So I think that's what we're doing here, guys. I think we're going to work on this all together. I think it's going to be a cool little project. And uh, we'll see how things um, go here over the next little bit. So, well, for a guy that doesn't put filters in joints, I think I did a pretty good job, guys. Mm. See, that's the best part about it. If you keep your, your ganja in a nice airtight container and the first little bit you burp it properly, opening it up, and make sure you get all that, that proper moisture out, and then let those terpenes and let those essential oils cure. Mm. There's nothing to say about nicely 
here, what are we, 12, 15, 20, three year old bud, two and a half year olds. Well, as always, I'm always working, guys. I'm always getting things going here. So, I think first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to paint this concrete because it's already being painted a little bit. I got some paint going on in here. Get that going. Of course, I've been uh, painting my house here for a while, so I have all this little extra paint, which is quite nice. So I figured I'd uh, do this first little bit with you guys. Get working on this. See how we're exactly going to pan this all out. And we're getting a white wall now. And white's a good color, and I'm thinking actually, if I'm going to do a wall behind here, I'll paint it orange because orange is a happy color, and I'm always happy when I'm uh, making hash or working on my health. So I think the next step here, guys, is uh, this wall is going to be all white. Mike's going to come over. He's going to be like, I told you so. I'm not a big fan of painting concrete, as in I used to be a pressure washer. I used to pressure wash a lot when I was younger, and concrete that's being painted is just a pain to clean. But it's going to look very nice here. We're going to get good reflection. It's going to lighten this area up, guys. So, I'm going to keep working away here. I want to tell you what was going on. I wanted to show you what was happening. And a uh, little update on uh, me and my yoga and locking the standing leg. You guys will be pretty cool with this. Well, smoking a joint too. Lock the standing leg. Hold it tall and lift up. That's yoga for you guys. Broken back everything, but I'm exercising, I'm taking care of myself, I'm holding strong, and it feels very, very well. Try to put the knees down. One day I'll be able to put my head to my knee, but not right now, but that will come slowly enough, won't it? So, the new yoga room, hash room. Look after you guys' self, and uh, of course. I was like, I was smoking that joint, I wonder what I did with it, I'll share it with you. It's still burning somewhere. I know. <laughs> it doesn't go out. So. Oh, there it is. Over there. So Mike showed up, and um, as always, um, well, I was showing them, Mike, and I'm really, really stoked. And I was talking about that, how this is going to be my hash room. I can use that window for venting on an AC to keep the temperatures down in here. Yep. But the best part about it is putting a piece of glass on this wall right here. And I'll show them that I can sit here because I can lock the standing leg. Oh, give me a real, okay. And I can do my yoga right here. Sure. I know. Of course. Of course. So with the furnace being right there, I can actually vent directly into here. So what I want to do is maybe take a little bit out of here. It's a project now, guys. So what happens? We actually started, the project started right here because we uh, blew a fuse. Exactly. A little boom right into this room. Um, I want to insulate the roof here now. I'm going to go do that this morning. I want to get some proper stuff. Why don't you take that together? Okay. Brian, come down here. It's already open. That's not a. Oh, there you go. It come right goes up and come down. It can, it can do two different directions. It's already open. It's not even closed. <laughs> so we're actually going to get a piece right there for already venting into this room hot air. Yes. I know, isn't it? Isn't it just open it's, up and there it is. Pretty perfect. perfect. So, um, as you can see, Mike, your idea of painting the wall white. I like it. I do. I think last time we were doing a video, one thing I didn't do, guys. Uh, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> so, of course, I'm working away here. Um, <coughs> I just want to quickly uh, finish this off a little bit. I'm almost done here, which is quite nice. Mike is definitely not helping because, um, well, I'm in painting clothes. I can wreck this stuff. I'm okay with that. <laughs> um, uh, so, I'm okay. Now, the question is, is... Do I paint this white too? What do you think? Actually, you... I would. Huh? Just from from the elbow all the way up. Because you want white. Yeah, you don't want you white. You want white? I'm paint all the way to the floor. So, 
So it looks like that's what we're going to wind up doing, but I'll probably do that with a paint brush. And um, I, I, I was thinking about actually pulling off that drywall and putting some uh, fire and sound insulation in behind there. Oh, okay. So that's why I haven't started painting it yet. I thought, well, you know, if I'm going to build this into a yoga room, slash meditation room, slash hash room, this is quite the room, guys. You know? Probably back to my old days when I used to be back rolling when I was a painter. Let me get here. Just splash and splitter. Yeah. Back rolling. Mike's like, I got good clothes on. So <laughs> this is what we used to do. And if you used to hit the roof or hit the bottom, the bottom would cost you a dollar and the roof would cost you two. It went into a beer fund. What the hell? Yeah, well, that's how we worked. And that's how you would not hit the... You'd be able to go. And you had a pole. And I got all my paint and stuff. And... Voila. That looks good, John. Anyways, guys, you know what? We're always puffing and passing. We're building a hash room, yoga room now. Pretty cool. Yeah, it looks better. It looks brighter already. And next thing you know, we're going to be uh, hanging some lights up there. And I'll probably even uh, take that light and I'll change it and get a different light for up there well, now. Guys, so uh, I figured um, if I'm going to do this, I'm going to get heat. And so what we found is we took out this piece of ducking right here. And uh, we're going to... Uh, Basically, put in a little heating vent right here. So this vent is going to go from here. I'm going to put a vent right in the top there, and it's going to vent right down into this room for heat. So um, that's this step right here, guys. I just took this piece out, and it's it's really this is this is really dangerous. See this right here, guys. This is a woohoo! Gotta love that. I took this piece out here, guys. I took this piece out here. Ooh, lots of air. And you can see this is the like the old asbestos tape they used to put on stuff. And 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 it's and it's just like completely coming apart. Now I have rewrapped a lot of the old piping in this house. Um, as being a homeowner, that's what you do. You replace plugs, you do certain things. So we're just getting ready here, guys, because I want to put in a vent right here. I'm going to put a vent in here, and I'm going to put the AC to run out in that room out there, so this way I can have heat, hot and cold. So this is, uh, you know, just a little bit of uh, putting in a heat vent. And of course, guys, um, this is all being painted now. So uh, it's all nicely cleaned up. It's all being painted, and of course, Mike was over here helping a little bit. So we got this all cleaned up here. We got the table out. We're now uh, slowly going to be putting a roof in here and putting the vents in and stuff like that. So uh, stay tuned. Here. Yeah, man. So what's going on now is I'm going to take out this wall here, just about here. And that way I still have my shelf along the wall so I get access to the hot water tank and the furnace. And I'm basically going to put a wall in right here, guys. Right up until I get to the front here. And then there'll be a door. I don't know where yet. I haven't made a decision where the door is going to go. I don't think it's going to be right in the front. I think it'll be off to the side here. So you can walk into here or you can go in around to here and I can have a light in the back. But uh, so far, guys, the room is looking good. So just always keeping you updated on um, little adventures here. We're going to have some better lighting in here and I just can't wait to get this done. And it's going to be a happy, happy, happy. It's always nice to take a few nice pictures, show you the, the design and how things are slowly working out. So of course we've got the hot water tank and everything on this side. There's the bubble now machine that we'll be putting into that room. Because that is definitely going to be one really nice little room. Sweet. What do you think Mike? It's turned into quite a project hasn't it? It's progressing. Do you think so? Oh, it's progressing. As you can see, I've laid it out on the floor here. Yeah. Looks good. I have a little layout down here, how I'm going to do it. <clears throat> I've taken that wall out completely behind you now. Yeah, so that used to be here. Yeah, now I'm going to that we can access, so that's all completely gone. 
And as you can see up in the ductwork up there, I've had to rip out the ductwork. Yep. So you guys pulled down there, so I had to do that. And then see how that wire is just hanging there? I actually had to take that wire completely out in order to move the bigger wire out of there. It's just weird how they do things, so you know? Dead? It's dead, oh yeah. Oh, right now it's dead. Yeah, yeah. So Good. Yeah. Looks awesome. I, I think it's uh, becoming quite quite the quite the project, a hundred percent. You know, it's been a busy day. I went and picked up this uh, fire and sound insulation. This is really important, so we have the fire and the sound, and put this between the joists here. It's really nice. So this also going to be maybe a yoga room, so that's what I got this piece here for. So that will vent into there. Beautiful. Of course, then this pipe here, I was talking about taking it apart properly. All right, I'm going to turn off the water, and I'm going to drill holes there. I'm going to feed that through, and then I'll be able to put a ceiling up to the top here. And I can bring it right over to this side of the wall. I'll make this just big enough so people can get by here. Well, yeah. you know what? You can, I can get by here. I can walk by here. I don't know if I get a like a great big guy. I'm pretty big. Uh, I'm a right. big guy. So if I can get through here, then I think I'm fire safe. I might have to check on a regulation here, but we should pay, pay attention to that because this is being filmed the way I was showing you what we're doing here. This is my uh, hash because we have uh, we have plumbing and everything. I can plumb down water and everything else if I want to. I'm definitely going to put maybe something in there that might resemble something for drainage and water since it's all here. But, I mean, this is my yoga room too, right? Well, it's like uh, those uh, wash tub sinks. Yeah. Right? With five well, pail as, the... as I can see, there's already right. this here, so I'm going to be thinking of my yoga in here. I was thinking about well, maybe actually putting up a subfloor. Right. It might be. It might. It might be. You know, it might save it, for tripping. Ever. Yeah, it would save for tripping, and it would just be exactly as much, just like this. Two by four, right? Now. Platform. So more to come, but that will work perfectly. But then I got to look at my height. Do and uh, it's hard to do yoga at that point, so that's not going to happen. But uh, yeah, slowly guys, I uh, pulled off the wire, putting in new ducking, I'm gonna move this up here, we're taking out this wall. We're really doing this properly. Proper insulation. Um, I got the roll of poly over here so I can get this all done up nicely. Um, we're not gonna we're not gonna cut any any corners. No, why? Yeah. Do it right the first time. Do it right the first time. Yeah. And and of course I'm I'm still waiting to clean that bubble nano machine. So yeah. that, that this was the focus. We were gonna build a little space here so we can clean the bubble now machine. We had the table load, we were laughing, and and then, then the fuse blew. Yeah. Well, at least you didn't read the first time. So yeah, yeah, so um, all right. and it slowly <laughs> progresses. So yeah, you know what, I might even get to, I got the stainless steel shelves that just roll right in here, so I have everything ready to go. I got the stainless steel table that can roll in here, I got stainless steel shelves that can roll in here. So it's pretty much just making this a nice airtight room that can hold uh, the heat and, and of course the temperature and the moisture because we want to control all of those factors. That's why it can also be my hot yoga room. Slash awesome. hash room. Real awesome. Yeah. So uh, we're still working here guys. I just wanna wanna show you guys that it's a posting on Facebook and people are like, you have to film this and show us Johnny B and we're like Alright. So here you guys go. Part one. Building the yoga slash hash room. Part what? Part one. Peace. Pizza? Is it pizza? I thought you said pizza. No, pizza was. No, we just had pizza. Yeah, we just had pizza. We always had pizza. <coughs> yeah. So, you know what? Why not bring you guys up close here? Because now that we've made this a part of you guys, we're gonna show you what we've actually done. So, what what was going on here is this wire here came through here drop in the middle of here and went down through the side and down here so we actually took that out we're eventually going to take this wire out here we're going to move this plug box properly and rewire that whole thing and then put some lighting on this side and we're actually going to wire some lighting down onto this side here so there'll be a light down here we're going to eventually balk this off we're going to put this pipe into the wall and uh we're slowly uh making this room um Fire, safe, and soundproof. Right? That's awesome. There you guys go. So, uh, a little bit more of what's going on here, showing you uh, how we're uh, building this hash room. And of course, yeah, there are the bags, they're hanging. So, you know what's going on. 
And uh, then we come over here, guys, and uh, we see the, the bubble nail machine. And of course, um, my water is all RO'd, so I got uh, good water in this house. It's uh, like sh showering in bottled water. <laughs> Literally. Yeah. Literally, it is, yes. Yeah, so I got to pay attention to that. So uh, there you guys go. So this is uh, this is what we're doing. I think it's time to go do a bong rip. Absolutely. Okay, we're going to go do a bong rip. Maybe, uh, maybe we'll, we'll bring them up there and we'll join you. We'll talk more. <laughs> Hey guys. Hi. Yeah, we're working away downstairs and stuff like that. This is coming to you live from the cupboard, actually. Someone's gonna help me <laughs> my hair. Already. I can just feel it. I can feel it. Someone's saying something about my hair. So, you know what? Just for, just for the hair hater out there. We're trying. Much better. I um, stopped by in uh, San Enrico today. And uh, it's pretty cool. Um, he hooked me up with the new sublimator. And this one here, because of course, I'm a hash guy, comes with this nice little carb cap. That's pretty cool. It's pretty stoked. And what had happened is actually I had my old sublimator that um, I had sitting around and uh, didn't use it that much. And uh, well, he hooked me up. We did a bit of a, an upgrade. So uh, apparently uh, he has an upgrading option. That's cool. I took that option. Um, it was kind of nice just because, uh, you know, it's just something. And now it works really well on this VIP pipe here right now because it sits over top of it. I like to keep it like this. Um, I got my dial sitting here on number seven right now. Keep it in the green. And I got some sweet DK dry sift. DK420, that is. You guys all know him from Hass Church. And uh, of course, he's got his own channel and stuff. So. Um, this is some sweet sift that he brought down for me. Um, always a brother hooking up a brother. Gosh. Yeah, I know. So, as always, Mike's first. Well, that's a whole lot. So we're gonna hook up Mike with this hit, and uh, I'm gonna carve it after. Now it just melts. It's like. You're gonna have to just trust me on it. You guys all seen these really nice melty, melty shots. But I mean, this carb cap from the side. Nice, eh? I don't know, you finish that. It's not tasty. There you go. Oh, sorry, the dear wife. We'll make sure that Heidi gets a nice one here too. But I mean, you know, um, Mike, Mike wasn't uh, too much help with the girl, uh, the downstairs today was a big help and inspiration in the beginning. Of course, it took me and my little mind to decide uh, exactly what I wanted to do down there. So tearing out walls, looking at duct working, pulling out electrical. Um, I was a glazer by trade, so I am a journeyman glazer. I went to school for it, so I'm pretty good at construction. I kind of know what to do, so... I'm down there working away and figuring out exactly how I want to do this whole room. And as you just saw, it's really changed. The house room, the yoga room is going to be a perfect hash yoga room. I'm going to control its temperatures 100%. Um, it'll be fire and safe proof. It'll meet all codes if there is any. It's, I don't think there is any. I'm just building a room, so who cares? But um, you know what? I, I want to build this because, of course, I own my own house. I want to I wanna make sure it's a really nice, safe room that I can go and relax. And if I want to really make some really nice hash, bring down those temperatures, I can do that. Uh, maybe I'll put some shelving in there because it is a one-man yoga room too, right? It's not for like two or three people. It's for me. That's why I did it. Incredible flavor. Yeah, yeah. It's almost like eating Incredible. the seeds. It's almost like eating the seeds like this. Like roasted seeds. Incredible. See, that's the best. Oh. Okay. Well, that's really tasty. I'm going to actually have to show you a little uh, close-up of this right at the very end, guys. So um, we will be zooming in right on this. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Wow, that was pretty amazing looking stuff, wasn't it? It's awesome. Isn't that amazing how, and we were just smoking that, and you just saw it, you're like, wow, that's amazing. So, of course, now that she was just looking at it, I better give her a nice little rip, because you saw how clean and amazing that was. That's like 99, and that's some, um, well, that's, uh, that's the parchment paper. These guys are uh, cleaning it with uh, a little bit of parchment, and that's the dry sift, um, wow. static dry sifting on uh, YouTube. It's also on the Dry Sith Quiver um, with uh, Bubble Man. Of course, he did a video on that too. And I think I have a little video on it at the end and uh, the beginning there about how I was using the same thing. Cool. So uh, it originated from, yeah, it's just uh, Google Static Dry Sifting. And uh, I can't, it's Mez. I can't, I'm sorry, you know what? Uh, I'll definitely put a link at the end of this video of uh, where exactly that all started from. So it was kind of cool. But. Uh, Wow, that's pretty amazing smelling. Is it? Isn't that tasty? I haven't smelled it. Like you were looking at it. No, I'm not. Okay, here. Careful. Okay, we want to give a special thanks out to D420K. Oh, wow. You know what? Thank you, my friend. That's some killer dry sift. Um, nothing but the best coming from, from of course, from D. So um, it's definitely going quick. <laughs> Maybe we'll be able to do a little uh, puff with him before he uh, leaves town. That'd be kind of cool. Anyways, guys. Yeah. Peace.